Troubleshooting Single CAC Channel 5 and 53 refer to communication errors between the indoor and outdoor units. Channel 5 occurs if the indoor unit cannot receive a signal from the outdoor unit, whereas Channel 53 occurs if the outdoor unit cannot receive a signal from the indoor unit. Channel 5 can be checked in the indoor and outdoor units and the wired remote control. The remote control will display CH and 05 alternately. The red LED flashes for 5 seconds on the indoor unit's display window. The red and green LED lights of the outdoor unit's main PCB flash 5 and 3 times respectively. Make sure to inspect the circuit breaker, power line, and power supply as basic items for service checks. The single phase product should have a 220 volt plus minus 10% when the LN phase is measured. The three phase product should have a 380 volt plus minus 10% when two phases are measured. Excluding the N phase from the RSTN phases or a 220 volt plus minus 10% voltage when an RST phase is measured with the N phase. The communication line between the indoor and outdoor units can be checked the following way. First separate the indoor unit side panel and then remove the control box cover. Measure N and C on the communication terminal block and check if the value is 0 to 35 volts. If the value is abnormal, check the main PCB and communication line between the indoor and outdoor units. Separate the main PCB of the control box between the indoor and outdoor units and check for any abnormality such as carbonization and disconnected fuse. Channel 5 and Channel 53 refer to errors that can occur intermittently depending on the situation. In this case, the error might stem from a surrounding load. Check if the error was caused by interference from other electrical installations. Also see if the same communication error ensues when only the product is operated after turning off other electrical, communication, and security devices and lighting. If the same error code appears, turn on the other electrical and communication devices one by one to identify which device causes noise and take action. If the error persists even after checking, Improper installation is the likely cause. In this case, check if the communication line's sheath is peeled off, disconnected, or has short-circuited, and replace the line if an error is found. <laughs>